Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of tibial metastasis. A 60 years old male patient came with a rapidly growing painful supermedial leg swelling. According to the patient's history, he was completely well 3 months back. This patient came to us for a leg x-ray. Let's see what we have got on an x-ray first. This is the AP and lateral views of the x-ray upper leg and you can see there is a lytic lesion involving the upper part of the tibia. We found an ultrasound report of this patient around 2 months back when there was no feature of bony distraction on ultrasound. Let's see what we have got now. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the swelling at the supramedial aspect of the tibia. This is the tibial bone. You can see the fragmentation and lysis of the bone at this part with a heterogeneous soft tissue that compresses overlying muscle and subcutaneous layer. You can see some echogenic bony fragments here within this soft tissue. Another view and you can see this soft tissue lesion here. This is a fairly large lesion with some calcific foci within which possibly came due to adjacent tibial osteolysis. To evaluate more, we use the color Doppler ultrasound and on color Doppler, you can see it is extremely vascular lesion. When two months back, this patient had an ultrasound of this soft tissue mass without any bony destruction at that time, it appeared like outer venous malformation. But now you can see this vascularity is towards the soft tissue lesion. And when we trace the origin, we have seen that this main feeding artery is arising from the posterior tibial artery. So this highly vascular soft tissue mass causing bony destruction is possibly the metastatic deposit. Now we actually don't know the primary source up to this scan as this patient was sent to us only for x-ray reporting. But hopefully as this is a male patient, lung and prostate should be further evaluated or clinician would go for histopathologic correlation. Here is the picture of the lesion, you can see this is the tibial bone and this is the soft tissue mass causing the destruction of the bone at that point. This is a heterogeneous lesion, you can see some hypoechoic linear areas indicating the blood vessels as we already know using color Doppler. And the picture of this lesion with some fragmented calcific foci as well as some cystic spaces of blood vessels. We have checked the spectral Doppler of the main feeding artery arising from the posterior tibial artery. It shows a high peak systolic flow with a good amount of flow on diastole which is a common vascular pattern of malignancy. Here is the feeding branches which shows relatively less peak systolic velocity with a still a good amount of flow on diastole. So in summary, a heterogeneous highly vascular osteolytic solid soft tissue mass is noted at the supermedial aspect of the leg causing adjacent tibial destruction. Color Doppler ultrasound shows low resistant feeding artery arising from the adjacent posterior tibial artery. So this feature suggests it as a case of tibial osteolytic metastatic deposit. Now the take home message. The squamous cell carcinoma of lung should be excluded in case of tibial lytic metastasis in an elderly male patient though histopathology may provide the exact idea about the primary source. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.